okay uh, welcome back students now here uh, we have the numerical in uh, gate exam that is gate uh, 2014 so the question is an operating system uses the shortest remaining time first scheduling algorithm for preemptive scheduling of the processes consider the following set of processes with their arrival time and cpu burst time in milliseconds so uh, this is what is given to us there are uh, four different processes ah right whose arrival time is given and burst time is given and we have been asked to calculate the average waiting time so according to this uh, <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, try uh, for you know preparing the gan chart for it <clears throat> so now i'm just uh, writing the mentioning about the uh, gantt chart over here right now uh, let's say uh, i am taking the first process for scheduling over here uh, right and uh, that particular process is uh, p1 right uh, which will start from 0 and uh, uh, which will execute till uh, 12 millisecond but uh, we know that uh, at 2 uh, millisecond uh, there is another process that have come inside the os right so uh, i have taken uh, p1 over here and uh, which will run from 0 right uh, to 2 milliseconds and at 2 milliseconds there is the process p2 uh, that have arrived uh, inside the os now uh, for this particular process uh, you can see uh, it will going to run for 1 millisecond and then it will give the chance uh, to the another process that is p3 but uh, after 1 millisecond uh, you can uh, observe that its a burst time will decrease from 4 to 3 and 3 is already the uh, least burst time amongst the four different processes so uh, p2 i can schedule for a uh, complete burst time that is 4 right and so that what will happen the p2 uh, will uh, go out of operating system uh, because its burst time after uh, decreasing it by 1 millisecond it will become 3 and in according to the logic of shortest job first uh, it's the preemptive version that is shortest remaining time first so the job uh, whose burst time is uh, least uh, we need to schedule uh, that particular uh, process early so i have scheduled p2 for complete burst time and then i am observing that up to 6 millisecond the process p we have come inside the os uh, so uh, now i will schedule the process p3 over here and i will run it for again 2 millisecond right because at 8 time instance there is the another process uh, that have arrived inside the operating system right after running it for 2 millisecond once again friends its burst time will be 4 which is again lesser than 3 so it is better that i could run the p3 for complete burst time uh, that is you know uh, for 6 uh, millisecond uh, i can uh, run the process uh, p3 and uh, that will be uh, convenient uh, for me and i can observe here also the process uh, p3 is going out of os and now finally uh, uh, up to 12 millisecond uh this particular process um, uh have arrived that is p4 now i will schedule the process p4 over here for 5 milliseconds right so after scheduling it for 5 millisecond i can observe that this particular process is also going out of os and now only the uh process uh, whose burst time is very large that is Uh, 12 and 10 burst 10 out of that 12 the 10 units 
are uh, remaining so you can observe i can schedule p1 now right uh, up to 10 milliseconds now this is how the gantt chart can be prepared for this particular uh, numerical right and now uh, i can just uh, talk about the turn around times and waiting times uh, for these processes over here so let's say i am mentioning the process p1 uh, p2 right p3 and uh, p4 uh, and now you can see the turn around time if i will calculate right so turn around time uh, is equals to the exit time minus arrival time so for p1 uh, uh, sorry it was supposed to be uh, 27 right so for p1 uh, it is 27 minus 0 right that is 27 uh, for p2 the exit time is 6 minus uh, 2 that is 4 for p3 uh, you can see the exit time is 12 and the uh, arrival time is 3 so uh, 12 minus 3 will become 9 right and again for p4 uh, you can see 17 is the exit time and the arrival time is 8 So it will be nine once again turn around time, and finally uh, waiting time is equals to uh, turn around time less burst time. So twenty seven minus twelve will become fifteen uh, over here. Then uh, you can see four uh, minus four will become zero over here. Uh, for P three nine minus six uh, will become three. Over here, and again, nine minus five, uh, four, right? Now uh, you can see over here. Just the question was uh, calculate the average uh, waiting time, right? So I will calculate the average waiting time over here. Uh, that is, you know, fifteen uh, plus three eighteen uh, plus four twenty two divided by uh, five. Uh, sorry, divided by four. Uh, So, so I will divide it by uh, you know four milliseconds, and then uh, after dividing it by four, uh, uh, I will get the answer uh, five point five. So this is how uh, we can calculate the average waiting time uh, for. shortest remaining time for scheduling algorithm